Hey, thanks for checking out Coffee with Brett. I hope you're enjoying these short caffeinated videos. You know, if you ever have a project management or a Team Gantt related question, definitely get in touch by leaving a comment below or reach me by email. And if you're looking for more helpful video content, be sure to subscribe to our channel and click on that bell icon so that you can get notified when we release new content. I have to say we're releasing new content pretty regularly at this point, so we promise to make it worth it. All right, so let's jump in today. Here in the US, the Memorial Day holiday just passed. So that means for us, it's officially summer. My kids will be done school in a week and then we're off on summer vacation. Gotta say, I cannot wait to be hiking in Maine with no projects, no deadlines, meetings, nothing work-related on my mind at all. Sounds pretty amazing, right? Here's the thing, when I start to think about vacation, my heart starts to beat fast. You know why? When I was a project manager at a digital agency, I went on a family vacation and we were in the middle of a few large projects at work. You know, nobody had issues with me taking vacation because we weren't necessarily expecting any huge presentations or any big challenges that we could foresee in the way. And honestly, everyone needs time to just kind of disconnect, right? So it felt safe to step away. And it was, for the most part, and the vacation was awesome. It was actually my younger daughter's first trip to Disney World. So my wife takes one of our daughters to a ride at Disney World, and I decide I'm just going to sit on the bench while the baby's sleeping. Good. So what do I do? Of course, just like any other person does, I pull out my phone, and immediately I check my email. That was my biggest mistake. You know, I was checked out of work and I should have stayed checked out, but I checked in and I got a couple of emails from one team member that honestly ruined my day. So I won't get into the details here, but despite my best efforts to not work during vacation, I had to intervene all from that bench in Disney. Let's just say I was not so happy in the happiest place on earth. I mean, it took a good 20 minute phone call to get this person back on track. But it was so ridiculous. It could have been handled in about nine different ways that didn't involve me. But hey, that's the life of a PM. So that situation kind of made me think moving forward, how should I prepare for my time away and make sure that my projects are in good shape so that I can actually enjoy my vacation moving forward. So what did I do? I created a personal process for how I set up my projects just to make sure that I can step away and actually relax on vacation. So I thought I'd share my top three tips with you in this video. So the first thing that I do is open up all of my projects in Team Gantt to see what activity will be happening when I'm planning to be out. So my wife, Emily, she's an amazing trip planner and she's always booking our vacations month and months and months in advance. So that gives me the opportunity to look at things and even kind of shift our dates or even shift project dates if needed to make things fit for my time away. Generally, I'll move my dates and not the project dates, but either way, I want to have a firm grasp of what's going to be happening during my time off so that I can get everything into a place where I can actually do the next two things in my list. But before I move on to those next two things, you know, while I'm checking out those project activities, I'll typically open up the portfolio view in Team Gantt so I can see all of my projects at once and scan that vacation week. While I'm there, I'll make a quick list or even a custom board of all of the tasks that will be happening in that week and note who's responsible for each task so that I can follow up with the appropriate team members. So after I have a grasp on those things, I'll let my team and my stakeholders know that I'm going to be out for vacation during whatever dates that might be. First, I'll start with my team and I'll generally want to approach one person and ask them if they'll fill in for me that week with some light project management duties. I've also done the thing where I'll ask another project manager from my organization to step in for me. But I do wanna mention that if you do that, it might require a little more effort to onboard that person, a little bit more effort than it might be worth for you, especially if your team is really on top of things and you can trust them to kind of keep things going. So use your judgment there. Just know that actually vocalizing and assigning specific responsibilities is a good idea here because it'll make people accountable to those specific tasks and you want that, right? You wanna leave knowing that somebody's doing the thing that you said needed to get done. Generally, the things you'd likely need your stand-in to do when you're out would be 
the following, right? Facilitate any team or client meetings and take notes. Make sure that you tell them to take notes because you'll want to review those notes when you get back in the office. Then you want that person staying on top of action items that come out of those meetings. So just make sure that progress is happening and that things that happen in meetings aren't just staying in meetings, but somebody is actually pushing things along. You'll also want them to manage your plan and stay on top of task communication and progress during the time you're away. If they're on your team and in your Team Gantt account, that should be super simple. You might just have to change their permissions in Team Gantt to make sure that they have the proper access. This is a tiny but really important detail because if they don't have access, you're gonna get that call and you don't want that call on vacation. So once my team's been notified and I've sorted everything out, I'll let my stakeholders know when I'm gonna be out. And I'll also let them know what the plans are for any meetings or deliverables that might be happening while I'm away. I'll typically just cancel the status meeting if I'm gone for a week because it's a little bit more effort for someone who's not the project manager to pull that together. And generally, stakeholders are okay with missing one status report. But you'll have to do what works for your projects, for your stakeholders, and for your team just to make sure that things are moving along at the pace that you want them to too. I also just want to say here that this is your opportunity to set expectations with everyone about your time off. Generally, this is what I tell people. I'll let them know the dates that I'll be away. I'll let them know that I'm not going to be on email. I'm not going to be on Slack. I'm not going to be checking in on Team Gantt. I'm really stepping away from work. Then I'll name my stand-in, the person who's going to take over for me, and say that they are the first point of contact for all project-related matters. I'm, of course, going to have my phone with me, but it's going to be in my backpack. And I'm not on call unless it's an emergency. And really, I can't imagine what an emergency might be on the types of projects that I work on in my world. But hey, got to let people know that. So then I'll announce if any meetings are being postponed or canceled or any important things that my stand-in might have to address while I'm out. And that's it. After that, I'm going to peace out, but only after I do one more thing, and that's to send an email to my stand-in that fills that person in on any possible details or risks on the project. This is a kind of peace of mind step that could take you a few minutes to pull together, but I also look at this as an expensive insurance that will be well worth it because it could save you from disaster while you're away or from that annoying phone call while you're sitting on a bench with your kid or by yourself enjoying a cocktail by the pool, you know? So my email might contain the following things. A brief recap on the expectations that we've set verbally, then a quick recap of each project and what's going on and what I need them to do with those projects. So I'll include things like links to my project plans, links to our most re recent status reports, a mention of important deliverables, tasks, or meetings that need to happen when I'm out, and any relevant information related to those things so that these people have all of the information they need in one place. And that's pretty much it. Like I said, it's all about getting information into one place, which is so simple when you're using Team Gantt, and you can put everything in one plan. And then you can set those expectations verbally and double down on them by sending an email right before you leave. That way you can actually step away. You can toss your phone in your backpack and enjoy your time away by yourself, with your family, with your friends, no matter who you're with. You won't have to be bothered by work. So tell me, are those good tips? Are those things that you might do when you leave the office? Tell me what you do when you leave the office. How do you make sure your projects and your teams don't take a week off with you? right? Share your tips in the comments. I'd love to hear what you're doing. Also, tell me where you're going and do they have good coffee? I would love to hear your recommendations. So please feel free to leave a comment in the comments below. That's it for this episode. Thanks so much. Enjoy your time off. Hopefully you get some time off this summer. <laughs>